and with the rain still teeming down the ball boys have now come out and here comes the referee Mr. Swint of France with his two French officials and the two teams Liverpool on the left and there's the Liverpool team in the 4-3-3 formation Callahan number seven a passage from the midfield row to the forward row the same team that played last Saturday when Liverpool clinched the championship of the first division that then is the Liverpool side four Scots seven uh, Englishman and remember Smith although he wears number 10 plays in the back line of four defenders and the Borussia Dortmund team playing in the lighter jerseys for those who like to keep record of the colors their yellow jerseys dark shorts and there's their team and a man obviously to watch is their outside le left Emmerich but sitting next to me is a man who knows all about Emmerich it's uh, the manager of West Ham United, Ron Greenwood, and West Ham, of course, were beaten by this team, Borussia Dortmund, in the semi-final. Well, Ron, which are the players we ought to watch on this Borussia side? Well, the way I see tonight's game, it's obviously going to depend between the two scoring combinations of Ian St. John and Hunt for Liverpool, Emmerich, Emmerich and Held on behalf of Dortmund. These two play up front all the time, and their running is terrifically strong, and I feel that this is what Liverpool have got to watch, and yet at the same time, the Barossa side have got to want uh, Hunt and St. John. Bill Shankly goes on record as saying that Hunt and St. John are, are fish and chips. Well, if they're fish and chips, I rate Emmerich and Held as salmon and chips. Well, salmon and chips, there's a fair old combination for you. So don't forget, in the dark strip, watch out very carefully for eight and nine and in the Borussia team that's the light jerseys watch out for number nine and number 11 and the two captains have met there's the tall dominating center half back of Borussia Dortmund he's the captain of Borussia Dortmund and will, will quite possibly be West Germany's center half back in the World Cup In fact, a number of the Borussia team are expected to be in the West German party. And there are the Liverpool players. As their fans give out their anthem, you'll never walk alone. I think Ron Yates said that he chose to play the other way. Yes, so the players have got to turn round. Obviously, it's one of misunderstanding. So it's Borussia who will kick off and they will attack the goal to our right. Tall number eight. Hands on hips is Schmidt and held. The man Ron Greenwood said, watch out for him in the middle of that trio, waiting to kick off. And away go Borussia in the European Cup Winners' Cup final. And we could well have one or two slips because the ground must be very skiddy on top. Lawler, Stevenson, one of the four Scots in the Liverpool side. Now Hunt, the fish of the fish and chip combination of Liverpool. Stevenson, now St. John, there's the tall Powell dominating. Sweeper back. Now Libuda. A 
thing to watch here for Libuda. Libuda is very reminiscent of Tom Finney in style and in his trickery. He's a wonderful player. He takes people on, and it's an amazing resemblance of how he always looks from the back like Tom Finney at his best. Now, Thompson for Liverpool. Oh, Smith even moving up into the attack, which is strange so early in the game. And Callahan. St. John. A corner to Liverpool. Callahan to take the corner. As usual, Lawler number two and Yates number five have moved up for Liverpool. There's Yates. St. John. And this is Emmerich. And Emmerich fouled by Smith. Schmidt. And held very quick off the mark. Well, a bit too quick, he was offside. Borussia look as if they will follow Liverpool and become champions of their country. This is Libuda, number seven. And the right back, Siliax, who used to be the outside left of the team until Emmerich appeared on the scene. And Siliax move to fullback. Borussia Dortmund lead the West German League by one point from Munich 1860, who were the finalists with West Ham last season in this competition. Now Milne. You'll, you'll notice, Ken, that Sturm is playing defensive all the time. This allows the Liverpool players to be marked man for man, and that allows Paul to act as sweeper up. This he does most effectively, and leaves them up with three forwards only. Uh, Thompson. And another corner to Liverpool. Liverpool win tonight. They will become the first British team ever to win a major national competition and a major European competition in the same season. Thompson. Yates. Lola beaten in the air by Assar. Now here's Held. Reda. One of the possibilities here, Ken, is the fact is that Liverpool's strength is in the air from dead ball movements. And as yet, the Liverpool goalkeeper hasn't shown any sign, uh, the Dortmund goalkeeper hasn't shown any signs in coming to aid his defence by grabbing the ball in the air. Uh, Callahan. There's Paul. Back to the sweeper up. That's the John. You notice there, uh, he panicked and punched. Uh, Stevenson and another corner the pressure certainly on Borussia Dortmund at the moment but they're a team used to playing top opposition beside West Ham they even beat Atletico Madrid on their way to the final and Atletico Madrid are the champions of Spain now Thompson with the corner Stevenson, and again Paul, and his Emmerich playing mainly in the middle. Now Hell beaten by Yates. A lot of people were fearing that Hell would take Yates on on the right hand side, which Yates doesn't like. Now it's Mill making the break for Liverpool to hunt St. John.
Tilkowski, Hawkot, West Germany's goalkeeper. Callahan back to Yates. Suliaks to the little fellow, Karat. Kurat. He's powered by atomic energy, I should think, this man. Now, Libuda. Now, it's Thompson. And Emirates moving forward for that ball. Out now to Libuda. Thompson has come back to keep contact with his defence. And the Germans in the crowd now starting their chant of Lee Buddha, Lee Buddha. Suliaks. Lawler has held, moving to challenge him. Uh, Kurat to Libuda. That's Stevenson beaten. No foul. Stevenson to Smith, you notice then how Smith is playing in his back line despite that number 10 on his back. Numbers. And here's the man Ron Greenwood said will play each Sturm. Playing as deep as Smith for Liverpool, both of them wearing number 10. Now to Thompson. Very quick to go back and cover Borussia. And a foul by St. John on Assar. Get to Borussia Dortmund. And that was a foul by Stevenson. Jumping into the back of Schmidt. Ten minutes gone of the European Cup Winners' Cup final. No score. And Kurat to take the free kick for Borussia. for is Kurat. Doing well to make that quick turn on this pitch. Sturm, first time we've seen him, is moving up over the halfway line. Suliaks. Well, back where we started. Kurat. Liverpool have fallen back with ten men in defence. That was a foul throw. The ball just dropped by Libuda, the outside right.
es Libura. Korat. Hell calling for it. This is held on the left. Well, the pitch more than anything beat held then. Callahan to St. John and Hunt offside. Hunt had moved forward much too quickly. Now Stevenson. That's not a good ball. Throw to Borussia. This is Yates. Now to Smith. Liverpool strikers are being very closely marked. Now, Hill. A fine effort by this young centre forward, Siegfried Hill, who won his first international cap for West Germany against England at Wembley in February. Goal kick to Liverpool. Obviously, the ball meant for the goalkeeper. Side right. Yes. Emmerich, this record goal scorer, 31 goals in 31 league games, which is a German record. Ali Buda back to Suliax. There's the value of the sweeper up. Ball. Borussia's ball. Nibuda, Nibuda to Schmidt. And here's Emmerich once again. On top of the 31 league goals, he's also got 14 in this competition. Nine. Held. Nibuda. The field for offside, and the linesman's flag is up, and it is offside. Free kick to Liverpool. And with a quarter of an hour gone, no score. We're seeing rather more of Borussia Dortmund as an attacking force than we are of Liverpool. Suliax was to Reda. Held again. And it's out of play. Suliax, Libuda coming close to him. This is Libuda. Now Liverpool with number four, Milne, and here's Smith. A 
telling you, slip one man. There's always an extra man around in this Borussia team. Now Stevenson for Liverpool. Hunt. Sturm very close to him as always. A lovely ball inside to Mill. Now number eight, Hunt. Goal kick. Little Kurat. A foul by Callahan pushing L in the back. We get to Borussia. Held now to Kurat. Emmerich, it's out of play. Again, all there to sweep up when the ball has gone past everyone else. going the wrong way so it's Stevenson now to burn <laughs> Borussia's ball Changed his mind then. Schmidt to Emmerich. And Sturm. The two number tens together. The corner. Yes. It's a corner. No, the referees, the referees said a throw in. The linesman was signaling a corner. And the corner it is. Sturm taking the corner. Kurat. That wasn't very far away, was it? Too close, I should imagine, for the comfort of the Liverpool fans. Oh, Borussia are being the right side. Stevenson is playing back far more than he normally does. This is Asar. Now, Stevenson with a chance to break forward. And to Hunt, and as usual, Stern there with him. The Buddha to Korat. could well see five of these Borussia Dortmund players in the West German World Cup party. Yates. The five will be the three main strikers. Emmerich, Held and Libuda. Then they sweep it up Paul. And of course the goalkeeper, Tulkowski. Free kick to Liverpool. Offside.
Lawler to take it. Lawler, the man who scored many a useful goal for Liverpool in this competition this season. Paul. I think that well. But Thompson. He's ready and anxious to take his back on. And take him back. Take him on too often. And it's a free kick to Liverpool. Foul by Suliakson. Thompson. Noticeable that Yates hasn't gone up for this one. There's Mill. Stevenson. Right enough opening the Liverpool players now finding it very difficult to create much against this strong Borussia defense. And now look at this Borussia attack. Fortunate that one wrong. Schmidt didn't reach Lib uh, Emmerich. Oh, good one from Callahan now to Stevenson. So John moving wide to try and create a gap. And a foul by Sturmann, Stevenson. Free kick to Liverpool. And every Dortmund player, every Dortmund player coming back to form a defensive wall. There's Emmerich on the far side, the last one to come back. So 11. German players between that ball and the goal. Smith, Callahan, and Stevenson. For many one from three, who's going to take it? Smith. Now with Milne. Stevenson. Burned to St. John. Now with Stevenson. Milne square them. St. John on the left. And Sturm once again for Borussia. Right. Emmerich into hell. This is Emmerich. And that's too far. Notice how Smith covering up behind Yates who went into the tackle. Anyway, it's a free kick to Liverpool. But 20 minutes of the first half left. No goals. Sturm. Reading that one well, Knight Yates. Stevenson. And Smith coming through. Now Callahan's moved over to this side. This is the outside right, Callahan. The forwards can tackle well in this Borussia side. Gates stopping hell. Number 10 is Smith. Now Thompson. Got on to the right wing. And away goes. Thompson now to Milne and Stevenson Kolkowski watching that one all the way one or two Liverpool
Now it's Callahan to take the corner. Does the Liverpool fans make it sound rather like Anfield. Emmerich, let's see how quickly Borussia can break and come out onto the attack. This is Emmerich. The Buddha calling for it on the right wing. Now Libuda's got it. Foul by Byrne on Libuda. Fiket to Borussia. Actually it was obstruction, so it's an indirect free kick. Suliax and Emmerich's moved into the middle. There he is. Now Schmidt. That was a good shot by Schmidt. The outside of his right foot to swerve it in. That's our number six on the Borussia team. Hardly moves a yard away from Ian St. John. Callahan. There's Asar. This is Libuda. Well, you can't beat them all. is from defence, so it's Borussia. And Smith coming in with a strong tackle on Libuda. Suliaks with the throw as the floodlights come on. And Stevenson caught the inside right Schmidt on the jaw. That's their number 11, Emmerich. Number four, the little fellow, that's Kurat. There, who won championship medal with Borussia Dortmund when he was 20 years of age. Product, the youth teams. This is the first time that either of these clubs have been in the Cup Winners' Cup. Liverpool, of course, last season were in the semi-final of the European Cup. And Borussia Dortmund... Last season, we're in the first Cities Cup and lost in the second round to Manchester United. Now, the chappy with the cap standing up is the Borussia Dortmund trainer or manager in our eyes, Willie Mufo. Besides being in the first Cities Cup last season, Borussia Dortmund has been three times in the European Cup. Losing to Manchester United in the first round, Milan and Dukla in the quarterfinal. And there it is, imported direct from Anfield Road, Liverpool. Schmidt is all right again. So, Zuliak to take the free kick for Borussia Dortmund. to a hunt For a few times St. John's been able to climb higher than Assar Thompson St. John with the throw for Liverpool quarter of an hour left of the first half no goals you can see in the foreground how heavily it's raining and how heavily it has been raining Till it pours down.
Milne and there's Paul, the spare man in defence. Smith to Stevenson to Hunt it wasn't out of play play on it, it, it was out of play goal kick to Borussia who in their own country lead by one point in the league with three matches still to play Right back, Suliax. Now Hunt. And Smith moving up. Well, there's a bit of indecision between Smith and Hunt then. This is Schmidt recovered from the blow he got on the jaw now. Emmerich. Libuda. Again, that shows you how Paul is just sweeping up behind his defence. Anything gets through, he's there to snap it up. Now Lawler. Lawler to Mill. Thompson screaming for it on the left. Now Lawler, this is a fullback, remember, to Mill. Now Thompson's got it. Number 11. There's Sturm coming into him. Second, I thought that was an own goal. Corner to Liverpool. Number seven, Callahan in the 40 from which England will choose the World Cup party. Well, there's nothing to say that Alf Ramsey won't look beyond that 40 he's already chosen. Yates and Lawler both gone up into the penalty area. Watch for number five. There he goes. Let's hope the photographer's all right. Lost the ball once, coming back, challenging for it. Emmerich to Schmidt, and this is held on the left wing. They take him by Milne to Stevenson. Held once again, and there's Sturm going down the left wing. Held, kept the ball too long then. Sturm ran offside and they had to double back and come back onside and by then the chance had gone. A burn to number 11, Thompson. And ball very quick to see the danger once Suliax was beat. Well, the ball nearly drowned now. Last time Hampton Park had this cup final, it poured with rain. That was in 1961-62 when Atletico Madrid drew with Fiorentina. Cala. This is the powerful Smith. Maybe powerful, but not accurate enough with his pass that time. Hunt for Liverpool. This is 
held. Emmerich in the middle. In the centre forward position. Ten minutes of the first half left. So far, no goals. It's Milne on the right of Smith, the man with the ball now. Callahan, holding for it, he's moved inside. Now, Milne. Is this Callahan? Turn once again getting it clear. We kick to Liverpool. No. The referee pointing, but he hadn't blown. Sturm getting that away brilliantly to Libuda. Emmerich back to Schmidt. Yates not having made the mistake of wandering too far upfield to be caught napping then Stevenson to St. John now Stevenson number six it's Thompson on the right wing and Suliax has followed him Suliax the right back has gone way over to the other side Lawler into Smith John. I don't think Tolkovsky expected St. John to get that ball. I'm sure he thought that Paul would be able to get it away. Held for Borussia. Now Emmerich. Brilliant bit of football by Yates. And free kick to Liverpool. Oh, so much talent in both these attacks that I think most people expected quite a few goals in this match, but so far the de defences have come out with the top marks. Now then, held. Honor to Borussia. There's been plenty of warning on both sides that they're given a half a chance got the skill to take it now Paul the tall sweeper up has moved up number five for Borussia oh it was someone in the crowd who blown a whistle well, that could have been a shocker certainly a whistle blew and both sides stopped shouldn't criticize footballers who kick the ball away and then look around to see if the referee's given a decision. Sometimes it can be the wisest move, especially in cases like that when someone in the crowd blows a whistle. Only five minutes of the first half left. So far, Borussia, Dortmund and Liverpool have kept a clean sheet. Sturm. Schmidt to Kurat. Throw 
to Borussia. Liboda. Makes the pass and moves quickly off the wall for any return. There's John on his right. Up comes Smith. Oh, a good tackle by Assar. Now it held. Emmerich on his right. And the long legs of Yates saving Liverpool. There's a John. There's Callaghan. Buda for Borussia. Schmidt moving down the right wing. And the present from Emmerich to the Liverpool number 11, Thompson. It's a John so far hasn't been able to escape Asar at all. So to Borussia. Three Borussia players to one Liverpool man, Thompson then, not even counting the Borussia goalkeeper. Now Stevenson coming away for Liverpool to Thompson. Milne on this left touch line. Number three is Byrne. Now Milne Borussia back. Eight men massed in defence now. A burn in joining in the attack for Liverpool. Assar playing splendidly. Number six for Borussia. Held. Emery. Held. And thank goodness this youngster can move. And Callaghan coming back to take him. back to Assa. This is Schmidt. Held. Corner to Borussia. And it's a little fella, Kurat, number four, going to take it. And once again, this tall sweeper up, number five, Paul. He's moved up into the penalty area. To do, try and do a run Yates. Schmidt. And there's Paul. There's Assar. Fallen back to cover for the sweeper up Paul. Smith badly at fault then for letting Held through. It's almost half time now. Only a few seconds left, not counting any injury time. This is St. John. I'd want to see Liverpool go forward all the time, but it's not always easy, nor is it always politic to go forward against 
such a tight defense as Borussia's. Number six, Stevenson. And Smith. Smith lucky to have a second go. Now it's Byrne, referee looking at his watch. It looks as if it's going to be a scoreless first half. A mill. They let that one run away with him. Already people beginning to wonder whether either side can really get such a grip on this game that they can win it in the second half. If not, there will be extra time of 15 minutes each way. And if it's level then, well, the replays at Hampton Park on Saturday night, kickoff 7.30, and there's the whistle for half time. The score Liverpool nil, Borussia Dortmund nil. And there we are, some of the German supporters being outshouted by the Liverpool fans, but nevertheless, the Germans are here in force. Away they go, with the rain still coming down. And if the second 45 minutes is as entertaining as the first, then no one is going to be disappointed. Emmerich. Melbourne to Hunt. And again, that was that tackle that Ron Greenwood was talking about. The tackle made by Paul coming right across him and taking the ball in the groin. Uh, Stevenson to Burn. And a lot of spare Borussia men around then. The Callahan. Nobody on the left wing at all. This is Lola. Sturm, done a magnificent job for Borussia Sturm, the number 10. It's the Liverpool number 10, Smith. There's Sturm again, and there's Paul, the free man. Stevenson to Hunt. It is it? got past this fellow Paul now Milne Stevenson moved forward this is Stevenson foul by Milne on held Sturm with the free kick this is held What is he can move? Thompson finding Hunt and Sturm with Hunt. A 
for Texas Stevens. That's out of play. That was a careless one by Smith was winning his own player. Then you that good view of the straight line of the Liverpool defence, I think is worrying Ron Greenwood. It might be too square. That's Thompson. Thompson brought down by Sturm. Free kick to Liverpool. Stevenson, I think, going to take it. Yates has moved right up into the penalty area. Lawler stayed behind this time. Well, a couple of scissors kicks. Now, Yates. Thompson screened the ball well then. Five minutes of the second half gone. No score, throw to Liverpool. Callahan, St. John, and there's Assar, wherever St. John moves, Assar's there with him. Now, a quick break for Emmerich. Well, that wasn't the demon goal scorer. Korat. That inaccuracy on typical of the Borussia team. Now, Byrne coming up to join the attackers. This is Byrne, the number three for Liverpool. Back to Mill. Tilkowski. Drive much too late for that one, but it was well wide anyway. It's a goal kick to Borussia Dortmund. Twenty thousand Liverpool fans here tonight. Fantastic how you could move twenty thousand people from Liverpool up to Glasgow for a Thursday night match. Lucius throw to Suliax to take it. Schmidt. Kurat running square of him. Oh, Sturm, one of the few times he's been caught napping. A hunt to Callahan. Callahan brought down. The Liverpool team, the same one that beat Celtic in the second leg of the semi-final, except that Hunt, who's now recovered from injury, has come in, was strong, who was injured in that semi-final. But Hunt isn't moving as freely as he 
old time hunt did wonders whether he is in fact a hundred percent fit Liverpool's throw Stevenson. Mill now spit and he come up square. The referee has given the free kick for a foul by Emmerich on Mill. And he's given it for obstruction and indirect free kick, signaled by the raising the arm. Well, direct or indirect, if you take them like that, it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> Both these teams played eight matches to get to the final. Significant Liverpool scored 11 times. Borussia Dortmund scored 25. But to be fair, 13 of those were against the Maltese Cup winners. Ten minutes of the second half gone, no score. to Borussia. That's not out of play. Away goes St. John now for Liverpool. This is Thompson. Deciding to try his luck in the middle and followed everywhere by this number two, Siliax. Siliax still sticking to it. And... Beautifully turned for a corner by Sturm. Corner to Liverpool. Now it's Callaghan to take the corner. Callaghan to take the corner for Liverpool. against number five and the Borussia number five winning. Callahan. And again, all there for Borussia. Right. Smith, Smith to Milne. And little Kurat quickly into the tackle. It's Borussia's throw. Liverpool now coming forward at Borussia, keeping the pressure on them. Is Mill number four. That was the cross ball that Kukowski doesn't like. It's another corner given away by Sturm. When one says given away by Sturm, that is no criticism of it. He did very well to be there. Now it's Callahan to take the corner for Liverpool. Yates.
is this little fellow, Kurat. He's over on the right, he's over on the left, he's everywhere. Player of boundless energy. Now Mill. This is Hunt. Beautifully timed tackle by Sturm. And Hunt didn't like that. He's got a crack on the ankle, I think. Paisley, the Liverpool trainer. There are no substitutes, incidentally, in this match. If anybody has to be taken off, let's hope nobody has to be. Anyway, Hunt, all right. And it's a corner to Liverpool. And it's number seven. Ian Keller had to take it. Stevenson. Well, those of you who were listening at half time, remember Ron Greenwood pleading with Liverpool to use their back players coming up to keep the pressure on Borussia. And that's what they're doing at the moment with both Milne and Stevenson. Joining in the attacks and helping to keep pressure on the Borussia defence. Throw to Borussia. Here's Kurat, number four. Yes, it was out of play. It's Liverpool's ball. Just over a quarter of an hour we've had of this second half and we haven't seen anything of Borussia Dortmund as an attacking force at all as yet. But the potential's there all right. And Liverpool know it as well as anybody. That's why they're carrying the game to Borussia and it's a goal kick <laughs> Liverpool though they are piling on the pressure not making the mistake of too many of them coming up leaving, leaving themselves open to the quick counter attack now Smith Smith to Milne. Oh, that was well read by Assad. Now held. To Emmerich. And a beautiful throw by Held. And that was the Liverpool defence. Hit by this quick counter attack. And after 17 minutes of the se second half, Held has scored for. Borussia Dortmund. A quick comment from Greenwood on that. Well, there was a square defence again, and this happened. Uh, Emmerich was able to see they were square. Hell went running away. All that, all Emmerich had to do was lift that ball over Yeats's head into the middle, and there he was with just a great shot. Took it well, and it was a wonderful goal. So now the chips are down for Liverpool. There are goals and nil down. And after doing all the attacking in the second half, 17 minutes of it, they've paid the penalty for that square defence. Been hit by a quick counter-attack.
Frederick calling for that one. And Kurat get to get away. Certain now that Liverpool will hot up the pressure. Stevenson to Smith. And a foul. No. Yes, the referee has blown, I think. Yes. Hard to hear in this noise. Just having a word with Tom Smith of Liverpool. Free kick to Borussia. The last West German team to play at Hamden in the final of a European Cup competition was, of course, in 1960 when Eintracht Frankfurt played their part in that superb European Cup final against Real Madrid. You may remember watching it on television if you weren't lucky enough to get a ticket to come here. That's burn for Liverpool. Coming in with that almost desperation tackle, but it works so well, he times it so beautifully. Might look ungainly, but goodness, it works. And Libuda. Stevenson. Here's Thompson. Callahan on the right wing. Twenty minutes of the second half gone. Borussia Dortmund lead Liverpool by one goal to nil. It's Thompson. He could climb up to it. It's Paul climbing up and giving a corner to Liverpool. So noticeable that when Borussia get possession, they move forward almost in packs, whereas Liverpool players are quite often on their own. There's no one there to help them. Callahan to take the corner, but Yates, number five, and Lawler, number two, are up there. Yates, too high with that one. Didn't get up above the ball. But of course, the Borussia Dortmund defenders know all about this tactic of Liverpool of using Lawler and Yates from corners. And every time they've moved up, they've been well marked. Their effectiveness has been completely neutralized. At the moment, the German supporters out singing the Liverpool supporters. Stevenson pass to Smith goal kick to Borussia Dortmund who despite the fact that they're in the lead they haven't gone on to any all out defensive policy Still trying to play the same sort of game as they played in the first half. And the favourite of, of the German supporters is obviously Lee Buda, who's named the chant with delirious joy. And there was hell was played offside. The linesman is flagged, but it was terribly dangerous. The Liverpool defence caught in a straight line. They got the decision that time, but if they hadn't have done, 
then it could well have been goal number two. Dortmund tackle as hard and as accurately and as keenly as any English side. This is number 11, Thompson. The Lions win his flag. The Lions win his flag. The referee stepped the goal. And the Lions was put his flag down. And it's an equaliser by Hunt. There's no doubt about it, the linesman had his flag up. And as soon as the ball went in, it, and the Liverpool fans have invaded the pitch in the hundreds. Well, I complimented the Liverpool supporters on Saturday for not invading the pitch. And now look what they've done. They're crowding round Roger Hunt. Hunt, the man who equalised. And, well, the Glasgow police know what to do with people who invade football pitches. I was just going to say there's a joyful female supporter, but uh, second look, I think it was a fella. And Tilkovsky has still got the ball looking absolutely dejected at the decision of a goal but there's no doubt about it it is a goal he's now kicked it upfield and the Liverpool fans really have gone mad Linesman could only have been flagging that the ball had gone over the line for a goal kick. It's impossible for us to tell here whether it had or not. The fact remains he did flag and then put his flag down when the referee signaled the goal. Now, Libuda up to Schmidt and Milne. coming back in defence of it now and Smith elbowed off by St John free kick to Borussia Dortmund and the tall number five Wolfgang Paul going to take the free kick and if you See the Liverpool supporters now, you'd think that team had won not only this match but the European Cup final as well. Crowd behind the goal, going mad with delight. Well, and they've only equalised. Goodness knows what will happen. Liverpool get the winning goal. Libuda back to Kurat the Stevenson back now to Lawler and here comes Milne is he joining in the attack and a gap created for him. Smith! Bounced badly for him just at the last vital split second. Certainly now with Liverpool bringing up Stevenson and Milner's extra forwards. 
They're keeping the pressure on Borussia Dortmund, whereas in the first half, it was Borussia who seemed the team in command. John to Callahan. Good tackle by Lola on held. Held number nine. No play on. We'll play on the first one. The second one was out. once again making certain that ball doesn't get through to Hunt poorly taken by Yates but a bad clearance to Schmidt Hunt to Stevens and now Milne but nevertheless it's a free kick to Borussia with 50 minutes to go and one each He's being forced to come back a bit more now, but here's Hell. Hell now to Libuda. Emrex in the middle, calling for the centre. He was in the middle, not on the left wing. Throw to Borussia. St. John. That's our coming across so strongly. Now it's Milne and Stevenson are going well forward. I mean, there's Stevenson. Kopsky wasn't all together happy about that one. <laughs> Stevenson up to Hunt. Goodness, this is a good match. Bill to Hunt. Well played by Assad. This is held. Emmerich held. And Emmerich. They have pinned the twos between these two teams. Far by St. John. 
Hans Schmidt. Hunt. And here's Berner overlapping on the left. Stevenson. Thompson, the man who made the goal for Liverpool, is now on the right wing. Liverpool throw. Well, the referee gave it the other way. The lines were flagged for Liverpool, and he's still flagging for Liverpool. And a foul against Lola, free kick to Borussia. Number two is Suliax. Uh, Thompson. to Hunt played him superbly. Gets to Stevenson. referee given another free kick but he was just pointing times when you watch this could be a bit off-putting you think he's pointing for the free kick when he's actually pointing for them to play on hunt so does hunt and always sturm Still on this right wing. And Suliax, number two, with him. Kurat. And Emmerich with Smith after him. But Kurat hanging back. This is Kurat. A good job that ball just struck Smith on the forehead. El Emmerich. Well, a chance for Emmerich there. Now, with about nine minutes left for play, everyone's still talking about this Liverpool goal. How did you see it, Ron Greenwood? I thought it was a great goal. Actually, Thompson left two people trailing down here on the right-hand touch line. He got to the nearby line. I don't know what the linesman, the Hua, was with him about, but Thompson evaded the lunging pull, got his crossover, and it was cracked in the back of the net. This you must... The, the Dortmund people seem to delay a little, but then you must play to the whistle all the time, and they paid the penalty for it. But from my book, it was a great goal, and Thompson deserved all the credit. This is what Bill Shankly hoped his two wingers would do, and it's the first time they've done it. And they've got the equaliser for them. I suppose there was a pretty similar case in the first half when someone in the crowd blew a whistle and everybody stopped. But if the ball had gone into the Liverpool net, then it would have been just as much a goal as Hunt's equaliser was for Liverpool. This is Callahan. And Thompson, having made the break, he moved very, very quickly. And no foul. Thompson has obviously decided that the right flank is happier flank tonight because he's 
staying over here nearly all the time. Burn. Up to St. John. St. John. In goes Milne. Goalkeeper look well beaten with that one. He seemed to be fat footed. Well, the change in Liverpool's fortunes now they're using Stevenson and Mill coming up on the right and the left. Callahan. And here comes Stevenson. Yes, hands by Stevenson. I think the referee wants a word with Stevenson. Stevenson to Burn. Assad trying to send Schmidt away. Three officials here tonight are French, which is Schmidt, is the referee. A couple of French referees acting as his linesmen. And was a good effort by Held. Beginning to look like extra time now. And again, that tackle, but it wasn't from Paul, that was by Redder. Now, Libuda. to Liverpool five minutes from the end of the European Cup winners cup final one goal each and if you believe in sequences it will be no surprise if this match is drawn because it's the sixth European Cup winners cup final the second was drawn, the fourth was drawn, so the sequence is that the sixth should be drawn. And it's pushing held. Free kick to Borussia, going to be taken by Kurat. Suliaks and Smith sweeping up behind Yates that time. <laughs> that about it, this game in well worth the admission money. Now, Held Libuda there with him, and it's Libuda with the ball. Oh, and Emmerich screaming that he wanted a long centre. Stevenson. Throw to Liverpool. Three minutes left. Three minutes left, one goal each. <laughs> For 
Borussia's throw. Kurat. Number four is Milne. Now Stevenson. Milne and Thompson now on the far side has gone back to outside left. This is Thompson. Can he produce another magical run? Throw to Liverpool. Lawler. Oh, and again, the goalkeeper won it out of his life. And very unsafe goalkeeping that by Tilkovsky. So a corner to Liverpool. Two minutes left for play. It's Thompson to take the corner. up to Emmerich and there's Byrne looking up to outside left Emmerich this is Lawler There's hell in the Liverpool defence court square once again. Yeah. Taking so many risks against these sharp strikers of Borussia. Now Kurat. Schmidt now Kurat number, number four again. Nibuda. Slow to turn and make tracks towards his own goal. Emmerich, we're now playing. The time added on for injuries. Nibuda. And a few Liverpool hearts stop beating then. <laughs> Linesmen have signaled to the referee that 45 minutes are up for this half, so it's any injury time is being added on now. S Stevenson. So here comes Bill. Sides must be tired now. It'll be a great test of stamina and extra time. But look at this fellow. Hell beaten by Byrne. Another glance at his watch by the referee. Now Kurat. This held eats with him. was a fair enough dive by Held lying down as if he's badly hurt holding his face Siggy hasn't got a free kick he's getting up Callahan A 
free kick fouled by St. John on the goalkeeper but certainly Hunt had a great opportunity then to get a sensational winning goal but in the last seconds in fact we're now playing time added on for stoppages and for the invasion of the pitch by the Liverpool supporters and the whistle goes for the end of 90 minutes one goal each And they've tossed up. Liverpool are to kick off. And they're going to play the same way as they played in the first half of normal time. One goal each after 90 minutes. So another 30 minutes to come. And it could well now be a test of stamina. And there's Thompson and... Oh, this Borussia defence seem to be uncertain then. Tukowski and Paul. I read in a French football magazine that Borussia Dortmund was saying they were tired after a hard season, which isn't yet over in Germany. Well, they played 31 league games. Liverpool have played 41. Now here's Stevenson. And up comes Byrne. Perhaps we're going to get the wingers doing it and the defenders coming up to do it. Here's Callahan, number seven. Lawler. Oh, um, oh went in like a tank then. It's a corner to... Liverpool. Now, just as we have to apologise for closing Channel D with the man from Uncle, and we now have to apologise for pushing all the other programmes late. Half an hour later, approximately all the programmes on BBC One tonight. And the news will come on immediately after the end of this match. news of the moment from Hendon Park is that we've had two minutes of extra time and it's one goal each oh. burn to Stevenson Callahan, the Liverpool wingman has switched again. That's out of play for a goal kick. Of this Liverpool, Liverpool using the same tactics in this extra time as they did in the second half of normal time. Stevenson coming up to Hope St. John. Notice that number three on the Borussia side has moved now to the right back position. That's because Callahan and Thompson have switched. When they when the Liverpool wingmen switch, then the Borussia fullbacks switch. Now Mill. Look at the speed of 
Kurat coming to challenge him. Suliax. Held. It's got Emmerich in the middle. It's out of play. The ball's been out of play. Not only is the linesman flagged, but the referee has blown his whistle, and that's the important thing. Callahan well, moving up now into a sort of inside right position there's St. John the Buddha it's not taken by Lola back for Liverpool now to burn now Smith well nobody's got to chase that one so for those who just switched on expecting now to find themselves in the middle of a news bulletin we're in extra time of the European Cup winners cup final here at Hampden Park Glasgow the score Liverpool 1 Borussia Dortmund 1 Hunt having scored for Liverpool after 69 minutes to equalize a goal scored for Borussia seven minutes earlier by Held Libuda five minutes of extra time gone And Hunt limping after that blow of the ball. Play on, says the referee. And now offside. It's offside as it's Yates who's injured. Yates and Hunt. Liverpool, of course, could ill afford to lose anybody injured at this moment but there's Hunt in the background limping rather badly and despite the fact that the players are facing another 30 minutes well they've had about six of them the pace hasn't slackened at all. Splendid football match, as good as many of us expected before the game. Two very well matched sides, two very fine sides. And now the rival bands of supporters trying to outshout each other. The Germans, I was going to say hopelessly outnumbered, but not hopelessly I mean they made a very fine effort of matching the Liverpool noise now Suliax their number two appealing to the referee but of course the referee has stopped his stopwatch now so doesn't matter how long he takes to get Ron Yates fit again we'll still play the two halves 15 minutes each half and there's the ball and it's Yates all right again. Free kick to Liverpool for offside. Uh, 
And Hunt looks as if he's as good as out of this game. He's living very badly. He made no effort to go for that ball at all. Let's see how he moves. And there's Hunt sort of limping around, very ineffective way at the moment. Ali Buddha. Schmidt. Ali Buddha. And here's Hunt. Well, he wasn't too happy about that, was he? Emrick and Suliax. Suliax now to Libuda. Ah, the face of off this greasy surface, foxing him that time. And there's Hunt. He's walking a wee bit better now, but still limping. And you can't afford to have a man that's anything less than 100% fit in a match like this. And number seven, Libuda. Liverpool praises those long legs of Ron Yates. And number four is Milne. Ten minutes of extra time gone, and that is not allowing for injury time. One goal each. Bad one from Lawler. Burn forward to Smith. Again, the Liverpool wingman have switched. Thompson is on the right. Cut off there by Paul. Oh. Now, oh, Bill carrying it in trouble. Lucky to get it back. One of the Borussia Dortmund players flat out at the moment. Oh, Byrne not being foxed by that body swerve. Burn now to Callahan. John. And the referee still hasn't stopped the game, quite rightly. This is Emery. Right. Lola, too. Thompson, that was a foul. And I think then Sturm hurt his own man even more. It, it's Schmidt, I think. The, and a whole posse of Germans now comes on to have a look at the injured man. And as they do, May I apologize to everyone for the fact that news and all other programs are now running about half an hour late in because this very fine European Cup Winners Cup final has gone to extra time. We expect the news to start at about 9.50. There's Willie Mulfaup, Mulfaup, the manager, just having a look to see how his injured player is. I thought it was Schmidt. It isn't Schmidt, Schmidt because I can see him looking alive and well. Ah, uh, it's Asa. Asa, the man who's kept so close to St. John 
all evening. St. John must be very relieved the fact that he's been able to get away from um, Azar, even if only for about a couple of minutes. Now the whole, the whole crowd of surgeons, doctors, trainers, what have you, leaves the field. And it's a free kick to Liverpool, taken by Lawler. And William Oldbob not off the pitch then still. He's all right now. Now Yates. This is Thompson. Now Callahan number seven. Smith just on his left. Square with him, and now here's Milne. Smith. And the goal kick to Borussia Dortmund. period of extra time and is similar in pattern to the second half of normal time what's a real up and under Bonner to Liverpool and now we're playing the extra time added on for injuries in extra time and it's Thompson to take the corner. St. John. Callan again. And a goal kick. Once again, Tilkovsky looking a distinctly unhappy man. That high cross ball. Despite that, so and has got 25 international caps in all probability be Germany's West Germany's number one goalkeeper in the World Cup now Byrne and out with Thompson and this time Paul is hurt with that spectacular tackle of his he's on his feet and the free kick a foul on Callahan and is Callahan going to take the free kick himself Paul doing a few knees bend right in the goal mouth on the Right on the goal line, almost. Yates. St. John. And the free kick to Borussia Dortmund. And there's Wolfgang Paul. He's moved out of picture now, looking distinctly unhappy. beginning to tell now both sides Sturm to Emmerich and the whistle goes for the end of the first 15 minutes one goal each 15 minutes to go now, what do you think of it now Ron Greenwood Oh, Liverpool definitely in charge now and well on top of this game. I think obviously their superior fitness is showing here now and as Bill Shankly always says, they consider themselves to be the fittest side in the land and their cops, uh, supporters are always shouting this and here tonight they're getting proof of it. They're bossing the midfield much better. Uh, Smith, uh, the, the older member of the uh, Dortmund side, has definitely gone out of the game and the two wing halves 
and and all the four back both four backs are coming up now and i feel now it's only a matter of time before they crumble and Borussia Dortmund kick off for the second half of extra time. Just 15 minutes left. Now here's Schmidt to Emmerich. Liverpool, no doubt in these 15 remaining minutes, will want to make Borussia do a lot of running around one or two of the Borussia players now showing visible signs of wear and tear. And here's Smith for Liverpool. And no one challenges him. Smith creating the gap himself. And a foul by Smith. Going in for the stunt showing. Smith, and is that long one to Held? That's the dangerous one. A goal! Oh, it's a goal by Lee Buda. It's a goal by Lee Buda. And have you ever seen such celebrations? What a ridiculous goal for Liverpool to throw away. But again, they were caught by that long one, first of all, to Held. And there were always the sixes and sevens. And of course, Lawrence was so far out of his goal. So, Nibuda then has made it 2-1. What Yates, I thought, perhaps he thought the ball was going over the bar, otherwise he might well have used his hand, but still. So just when we thought that Liverpool had the cup in their grasp, it's Borussia Dortmund who lead 2-1. Now free kick to Liverpool for offside. Give Libuda full marks for the way he saw his chance then. And sent that lob in. Here's the man that did it. Libuda, the outside right. Now to Hell. Now Emmerich. Hell. And a foul by Mill. Every second is important to Liverpool. Last time they equalised within seven minutes of going behind. But of course, seven minutes is an awful long time when it's only 15 minutes each way in this extra time. And we've had one of those 15 minutes periods. That was Emmerich. Just show as you can, you shouldn't prophesy, should you? There was I thinking and hoping, obviously, that Liverpool would get that goal. But exact replica again, that Hell ran in for that ball, just as he had done in the first half, although he didn't get the goal. The ball came out to Labud, and I think, actually, Ron Yates may have actually run the ball in the net himself. It was such an awkward situation. So the smiles which had faded from the German faces are now back in all their glory. Well, Tukovsky's not going to hurry. A burn. It's a John and a cross comes Paul. He's going to be a hard nut to crack in the World Cup. Held again, and Emmerich breaking down the middle. <laughs> it's 
throw to Dortmund. Now Stevenson. To St. John. It's again how they moving around in packs and then trying the long one. Borussia must be tired now, but I don't think they'll fall back on defence that would be asking for trouble. They've ten minutes to last out. Ten minutes of extra time. Borussia Dortmund lead two goals to one. Now here comes Lawler. Throw to Liverpool. Everybody now but Lawrence in the Borussia Dortmund half of the field. His burn of Liverpool. Liverpool throwing everything in, including the kitchen sink and the spawn cop now to try and get this equaliser. Milne. St. John. Smith. And it's Sturm getting it away. Number eight is Hunt. Smith cross to burn. Milne. And the free kick. Milne penalised for putting his feet up at the goalkeeper. Free, free kick to Borussia Dortmund. Well, the Dortmund players don't think that St. John is 10 yards from the ball. Relevant is Emmerich. Slipped out of that tackle, didn't he? Throw to Liverpool. Now it's Milne. And Libuda back in defence tonight. Everybody packed back in defence for Borussia. St. John. Well, this has always been a fine, exciting match. But now it's even more exciting than ever. Seven minutes left for play. Seven minutes in which Liverpool must get at least the equaliser. Holding Smith. Free kick to Liverpool. And everybody making tracks for the Borussia Dortmund penalty area. Now we've been playing about seven minutes since Borussia went into the lead again. And it was seven minutes from when Borussia scored first that Liverpool equalised. Burn to Mill. <laughs> Liverpool were lucky to keep possession then. Burn. Callahan. Mill. Yates.
perhaps a wee bit of desperation creeping into the Liverpool play now. forecast during commentaries are wrong I suppose we should say now that it looks as if Borussia Dortmund have won it Sturm moving this one out and Sturm making ground a tremendous pace down the left wing this is Emmerich Korat Emmerich across to Libuda. So this Borussia Dortmund team coming back on the attack. Held. Kurat to Emmerich and Kurat moving forward for the return. Four minutes left. Borussia Dortmund, the team that knocked out Valletta on an aggregate 13-1. Red Star, Sofia, 5-4. Atletico Madrid, 2-1. And then West Ham in the semi-final, 5-1 an aggregate. They are now four minutes from winning the cup. They lead Liverpool 2-1. Well, that's good enough for Borussia Dortmund. That's wasting a few precious seconds by our stopwatch. There are only 180 of those precious seconds left. Reda leaving it for Sturm and now Lola to Smith. This is Emmerich. Now Libuda and a free kick, free kick to Borussia Dortmund. And the German fans now sensing victory, which is only two minutes away. So be it the passing and repassing of the ball to retain possession. Could even go back to the goalkeeper. This Reda throw to Liverpool. Well, the last effort now of the Liverpool fans, a chorus of you'll never walk alone. Thompson. St. John. Both sides appeal it's a goal kick. And there is now one minute left. One minute of extra time to go. The score, Liverpool 1, Borussia Dortmund 2. The officials of the European Union, UFA as it's called, have now decided that it's all over. Borussia Dortmund have won. They're waiting in the tunnel to come on and present 
the trophy Mr. Vedica, the president is there, Shando Box of Hungary who present the medals is there as the whistle goes and Borussia Dortmund have won the European Cup Winners' Cup Borussia Dortmund have won by two goals to one Liverpool having paid the penalty of giving away a soft winning goal two goals to one Borussia Dortmund win the goal scored by Held and Libuda against one scored by Hunt for Liverpool and the trophy is now on the field and the Liverpool fans chanting away but Mr. Gustav Weidecker the president of the Union of European Football Association who present the cup to the German captain Wolfgang Paul and there's the manager there's really Wolfgang not very safe when he's raised shoulder high and we've been in trouble one or two people invading the pitch and trying to get at the fans very stupidly and so now the winning captain Wolfgang Paul who's played such a great game and whom no doubt we'll see a lot of in the World Cup for West Germany coming forward when he can get out of that crowd to receive the trophy from the president of the European Union of Football Associations Mr. Gustav Weidecker Nothing like as orderly as the presentation of the FA Cup, is it? Well, the Germans still overjoyed the first time that a German team has won these major European competitions. And they snatched victory when we thought defeat was staring them in the face. trophy is still not presented but the German supporters behind us going mad with joy returning the waves and now Ron Greenwood has been spotted sitting next to me and they're even waving at him and there's the skipper Wolfgang Paul receives the trophy which they have taken from West Ham United it's easy from Mr. Gustav Weidecker the president of UPA and now Mr. Shandor Box, the chairman of the organizing committee, once the lap of honor is over, will present the medals. And so the European Cup Winners' Cup has ended with the West German team, Borussia Dortmund, beating Liverpool two goals to one after extra time. And with that news and congratulations to Borussia Dortmund, it's goodbye to you from Hampton Park, Glasgow.